It's hard to tell which is more powerful. Pick it up, pick it up. The beat from the 8 a.m. high-intensity circuit class at the fitting room on Manhattan's West 19th Street or the pounding of jackhammers just six blocks north in what will be the new penthouse corporate headquarters of Peloton, a live streaming indoor cycling startup. Whichever the winner, Boutique Fitness is winning the workout wars in Manhattan and across the nation. Fitness companies are one of the two or three biggest tenants in New York City in this area. There's tons of boutique fitness all up and down, uh, not just downtown, but all of Manhattan. Not just fitness, as he said, boutique fitness. What exactly makes something boutique? I mean, it's an interesting question. For us specifically, boutique, we really take the best aspects of a personal training session and we combine that with the best aspects of a group exercise class. Boutique is code for personal attention. Classes often catering to the schedules of a working clientele with all the added amenities, even private shower rooms. Because we are boutique and we focus only on high intensity training and our specific types of exercises, we can build the studio to support what we're doing. So you'll notice you're that. Charging more. <laughs> right. A single class at the fitting room is $38. Compare that to around 20 bucks a month at a big chain gym. In Manhattan alone, studios are multiplying monthly. And nationally, of the 54 million Americans who claimed to have fitness memberships last year, 42% said they go boutique. That's up from 22% barely three years ago. And location is key. We wanted to be here. There's a ton of complimentary studio offerings. There's also a lot of athletic apparel shops. There's athleisure wear brands. There's juiceries. There's healthy eateries. So you're essentially feeding off each other. Absolutely. And you can see that in the menu offerings, classes before and after work and at lunchtime. So the three martini lunch is now a workout and a juice. Absolutely. I work in media, I bring a bunch of clients here, come with friends from work, um, and we make it a weekly thing. Not only are boutique fitness studios eating up New York real estate, so are the tech and media companies behind them. Take Peloton, for example, spending $7 million to trick out its new corporate headquarters right in the heart of the fitness district. This floor we're on right now, Diana, is going to be an uh, all-employee common area. Uh -huh. So stand-up shuffleboard, ping pong, foosball, beer kegs, whiskey kegs, <laughs> coffee kegs. Kind of like at Google, right? <laughs> kind of, but, but better, because we're a fitness company. At least half a dozen fitness companies looked into space in this building alone, which Peloton will anchor. What we're seeing is fitness as a theme for almost every user. So whether it's a boutique, a uh, fitness story like the uh, Barry's Boot Camp uh, of the world or Peloton that literally is coming to your living room. It's part of what these users want to talk about. We're two blocks away from our television streaming studio where we stream 12 hours of live television content around the world every day. So this headquarters is part of our story of being one of these special technology companies that is going to be defining the future of our category. A category that takes fitness to new levels and new heights. Diana Olick, CNBC, New York. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.